file this in the, uh, well, I don't know. I don't even know how to file this. Are you familiar with the Sandy Weil? Sandy Weil is the former Citigroup chairman and CEO. I think he was also the former Citibank chairman and CEO. And that's important because he was one of the prime architects and pushers and movers of the repeal of Glass-Steagall, which, of course, created a firewall after the uh, Great Depression between commercial banks and investment banks. He subsequently hired Bill Clinton's Treasury Secretary, who was also instrumental in this repeal, and hired him at Citibank, or excuse me, the then-known Citigroup, because Citibank was able to combine. And he was... uh, He apparently said in his memoir that Graham Leach, the bill that finally put the final nail in the, or stake in the heart of Glass-Steagall, should have been called Graham Leach Whale. And he apparently also had like a big hunk of wood, like a plaque, but it was a hunk of wood in his office, I think was probably, they put shellac on it or whatever, and had a little engravement uh, that said, The thing that broke the glass steagle. Something to the effect of that. And now uh, he was on CNBC today saying we should probably, uh, what we should probably do is go and split up investment banking from banking. Have banks be deposit takers. Have banks make commercial loans and real estate loans. Have banks do something that's not going to risk the taxpayer dollars. That's not too big to fail. If they want to hedge what they're doing with their investments, let them do it in a way that's going to be market to market so they're never going to be hit. This is essentially calling for the return of the Glass-Steagall Act, which he was instrumental in helping dispose of. When Bill Clinton said, we're going to, we're going to modernize the banking industry. I'm suggesting that they be broken up so the taxpayer will never be at risk. The depositors won't be at risk. The leverage of the banks will will, will be something reasonable. And the investments banks can do trading. They're not subject to a Volcker rule. They can make some mistakes, but they'll have everything that clears with each and every other single night so they can be market to market. And then he also said they should operate at a leverage ratio of 12 to 15 times what they have on their balance sheets. In other words, capital controls... uh, I imagine they're doing this again today. They certainly, in 2008, were back at about a 33 to 1 ratio. So I don't know what happened to this guy. Maybe he had like one of those like near-death experiences or something. Or he just figured, I've made all my money. Time to uh, fix the mistake. Unbelievable.